crowd on hand here at Sacramento. They have not been very boisterous yet, Paul Sunderland, but uh, they're enthusiastic. As Scott Akatebi and Brent Frohoff have gotten off to a two-point lead, 6-4 over Hovland and Steffes. Akatebi. And Hovland on two, Akatebi with a dig. Here he comes. And he booms it. Scott Akatebi making a fantastic play. Scott Akatebi all the way. Doesn't score directly with the jump serve, but forces the bad pass. And now they're transitioning well. And Tim Hovland, Kent Steff has got to be real worried. They're not handling the jump serve with good control. 14 kills so far for the Ackman. Got to wonder about how fatigued he is. They made it through to the semifinals of the winners. Had a very difficult win over the same team of Hovland and Steffes. And you always wonder when he's out on the court if he's ready to go. And how long can he go? Oh, oh another ace by Akatubi. Now 8-4. He's using great technique here and location on the jump serve. He's running inside out. He's starting the ball off here. Watch this. Inside out, running almost parallel to the back line. Starting it off That's right at Tim Hovland. And then going in the untouchable husband and wife area on the back line deep middle. Hovland and Steffes were trailing Johnson and Powers in the fourth place game. 7-3. Hovland blocked. No! Just missing on the ace. Hovland blocked five balls in a row for points on Powers and Johnson. And so uh, Hovland and Steph is advancing, but they are getting behind now to a very confident looking Ack and Fro. Come on, angle, angle, angle. Oh, Ack just chopping the ball all over the court. Got shot by Scott Akatubi's got very unusual looking trunks on him, too. He's got the longest. Multicolored four square card table kind of Eight, trunks. Ack has been switching partners back and forth. There are the Ack trunks. Kind of the four corners drill with the Ack. And he'll step at the net to block. Frohawk, good serve. Oh, big block. Ack stuffs Hovland. 9 4. You want to see the perfect example of getting over the net? Something that I think Scott Akatubi doesn't do as often as he should, but right here making a liar out of me. Way over the net. Frohoff just unloading on the jump serve. They've got the lead. They've got the confidence. Leads to a good pass and set, but this ball a little too tight, and Akatubi just stuffing Hoff straight down. 22nd timeout taken Let's by Tim Hovland and Kent Steffes. All-time money leaders on the AVP Tour. St. John Smith, Randy Stoklos up at the top. Smith, $5,000 still ahead of Randy Stoklos. Hovland, Dodd, Frohoff, Stevenson, and Hanley. Now you say, well, what about Ron Von Hagen, the great Von Hagen who had 62 victories? He didn't make a dime. There was no money back then. As it is 9-4, Frohoff and Akatubi. Come on. And Steffes booms it down. You know, Paul, when the players come up to me and they say, you guys are always talking about single elimination, well, that would change tradition. That would change history. It wouldn't be good for the game. And I tell them, hey, you didn't used to have money, and now you have money. You changed that tradition. You didn't mind so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, there never used to be referees and umpires. You changed that. You play one game to 15, it was two out of three, you change that. There's a tournament director, you change that. There's a hospitality tent with food. <laughs> so I think some of the changes in beach volleyball have definitely been for the better. Nine. Steph is blocked. Silly play. Terrible play. Nine. And Akatubi makes Steffes play for his Zonga or bonehead play. Give Steffes one Zonga today. Well, I still call it the bonehead play, and that was the perfect example. Getting sloppy, losing their concentration and intensity just a little bit. Should have been an easy opportunity. Instead, it comes right back at Kent Steffes. Now the wind picking up a little. Another 20-second timeout taken by Hovland and Steffes. So they have used up two. And the wind coming through. Let's go back just for a moment and uh, reminisce. 1979, that's the Miller Lite Pro Tour going to Santa Barbara. World Championship prize back then, 10,000. Yep, I was working on a soap opera, The Young and the Restless. And Paul Sunderland, he was carrying our national team. He was the player of the year way back then. That was a good year for you, 1979, wasn't it, Paul? I was healthy. Yes. <laughs> As we approach 30 minutes, 
in this particular game. Tim Hovland's leaving the playing area right now with a towel wrapped around him with the beach timeout. doctor, Tim Brown. And he's taking a five-minute timeout. So Hovland gets five minutes to sort out his injury. He hurt his shoulder earlier. We'll return to Discovery Park and discover what happened to the Hov after this. Welcome back on the men's professional beach volleyball tour. Stop number eight, the Miller Lite Sacramento Open. I'm Chris Marlowe with Paul Sunderland. We're at Discovery Park in Sacramento, California. 11 to eight, Fro and Ack have the lead, and Fro will serve. How about serving Ho Hovland short? Want that work? Want to get him on the sand? I'm just sure, I just don't think Ack and Fro want to, you know, change up their jump serving, uh -huh. the jump serving part of their game, but you might want to stay down when they switch sides, go over to the good side and just drop in a short serve. Hovland. Good short. Good serve by Hovland. Tight Boy. set. And Ack gently, that was the exact same shot that hurt Hovland's shoulder. Went over Hobbs' head, he dove back and wrenched his shoulder. How serious, we don't know. Try to find out and get a report. Akatubi with 21, Hovland with 10. Ack getting a lot of work. Try to get a report from the beach doctor and find out exactly what the diagnosis is on Tim Hovland. That's a shot! Hov. Blocked, he covers. Hov. Blocked, out of bounds. So Hovland... Hob is no dummy. Hey, he's even, been around for a long time. He can patty cake with the best of them. And he's been very quiet right now, reserving all his energy just to concentrate on this game. He's playing with just one arm, but even one... You see, Hob cannot even lift his left arm to pull himself off the ground, but even one arm, Hob is still pretty tough. Steffes. And Hovland, one arm, rips it out and can't get it, is Steffes. So Hovland is covering, but still for Hoff and Akatebi with a comfortable three-point lead. Big play here, though. Switch at 12-8 or 11-9. Brohoff not going to jump serve. Just going to short. Short cross court. Serve Hovland short. Just a step is down the middle. Leave that. Come on! Yep. Got a chance for a point here. Akato, Akatebi beans. Someone in the VIP seats. <laughs> Act got turned around just a little and loaded one. Oh, that, <laughs> one of the non-paying customers here. <laughs> of course, there are no paying customers. Admission is free on the Pro Beach Tour, but that play was looking pretty good in spite of the serve to Ken Steffes until the whale out of bounds. Cut, line, 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 line. Dink, oh, that's long, out. out. And so Hovland and Steffes were down 11 to 4. They score all five after Hovland has hurt his shoulder and they're back in it. Side change. 11 to nothing. 11 to nothing since Hovland was injured. It was 11 to 4, Ack and Fro. Somewhere along the line, Hovland and Steffes have scored 11 straight points. They are now at game point. Chris Marlin and Paul Sunderland, what a turnaround. Steffes and Hovland playing brilliantly. Another dig by Hovland. This should end it if Hov can patty cake. No, he can't. Trying to hit inside. That would have been the game. And Hav. That's the first positive thing that Akatebi and Frohoff have done in about 20 minutes. Brent Frohoff jumping way into the cross court. Excellent blocking move to save game point. Now Fro and Ak have to get back into it. Trying to come back with jump serves. Hovland. And he's still got enough heat. Hovland jumps well. It's pretty hard pack at this beach because it's a man-made beach, and he can get up. And Hovland is such a great athlete. His approach is good. His timing is excellent. He jumps quickly. So even without the arm, he can still elevate and bounce the ball around. Steffes will try to end it. And he jump serves wide. 14 to 11, Hovland and Steffes. Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokos will be in our final to play the winner of this match. And now Frohoff going to serve Hovland on straight set. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. And Hovland gets another kill. Let's check uh, Tim Hovland in the kill department. Hovland now with a lot. We're tallying it up right now with 16. The only problem Hobbs having, it seems, is he can only give Ken Steffes five with his right hand. Why Second no? game point, and 
cross court inside goes Scott Akatubi. Early in this game, Hovland injured his shoulder. He called an injury timeout at 11 at 10 to 4, I believe it was. 10 to 4. When he came back, Akatubi and Frohoff had let down, and the point barrage was underway. Ace for Akatubi. Now 14 to 12. First point. First jump serve that Scott Akatubi has been able to get on that man, Tim Hovland, in a long, long time. Still one of the best serves out here, and Hov just shanks that one badly. Moving it into the pipe area, right down the middle. Ack. Going to Steffes. And Steffes hits it out. So Ack and Fro still alive. They gave up 11 in a row. Now they score two straight. 14-13, Hobbs Steffes trying to hang on. Maybe looking for a 20-second timeout, and we get one. So I believe it's the third 20 taken by Hovland and Steffes. Next week, we hope you join us. I can't wait. We'll see the Fresnoians once again. The Miller Lite Fresno Open. Talk to Congressman Bruce Bronson, who's here, and he thinks maybe 35,000 people will show up at Lost Lake Park. Two-day action at Fresno Beach. And we are over one hour in this one. A very intriguing semifinal. Akatubi and Frohoff, Hovland and Steffes. And have they have come to life just in the nick of time. Remember that Tim Hovland had a swing to end the game. Yep. Frohoff with the stuff. Miss. Akatubi with the ace. And let's see where Akatubi goes. He's been trying to work Hovland down the middle. And Steffes has it. Steffes. Oh, Hovland on one. So Hob, it hurt him to do it, but he says, give me some cheers. I'm playing in pain. I, I think he's okay. That's I mean, a quick set off Dusty Dvorak, SC days, Paul. He's smart enough not to use, the, he used his left arm to get up in the air just a little bit. He says, yeah, I may be getting older. I may be dinged up. The ensuing serve is missed by Steffes. On the other side of the net, Akatubi and Frohoff talking about it. I think Frohoff is going to put a play on here. He wants Scott Akatubi to block. He's going to. He's not going to jump serve. He's going to stay down and get the ball short if he can to Tim Hovland. Drives it out. Serves the ball out. Still don't know why they're not serving uh, Hovland short. Make him run up. You can bet Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokos will serve Hovland short. Make him bend down. Fourth. Attempt at game point for Hovland and Steffes. And that's it. So Hovland and Steffes, what a performance. Down 11 to 4. And Frohoff and Akatabi really have no one to blame but themselves as Hovland and Steffes hang in and win. Back with our intermission festivities after this. Stay with us.